Hi everyone. So in this class, I am going to explain about basic efficiency classes, which is also called as asymptotic classes. So in the previous video, so we learned what do you mean by time complexity, also called as time efficiency. Okay, so that means when we write any some program, so the total amount of time taken by this program to run completely and efficiently that we call as a time complexity or time efficiency. For example, assume we have written this program to sort some 10 numbers. So that assume this program is taking taking some 15 nanoseconds. Okay, so time complexity is of this program is nothing but in 15 nanoseconds. That means so this program is taking 15 nanoseconds or it may be say it takes some a few microseconds or sometimes if it is huge or complex a large application it may takes in terms of seconds also okay so but in general we should not express the time complexity of any algorithm in terms of like constant like some second 50 nanoseconds 20 nanoseconds or uh, one uh, 80 microseconds are in of certain milliseconds we should not use any numbers to represent the time complexity so whenever we want to represent the time complexity of an algorithm we need to use some mathematical functions okay so I'll repeat so whenever we want to represent or express time complexity of any algorithm we should use some mathematical functions such as n log n n log n, n square, n cube, 2 to the power of n and n factorial. Okay, so these are the sum of the mathematical, mathematical functions we are using to represent the time complexity of any algorithm. Okay, so the time complexity of an algorithm always we need to express using any one of these mathematical functions along with that we are using one more mathematical functions called one for as a constant so that means whenever it is taking for always constant time so that we are representing by one okay so these are the sum of the mathematical functions used to express the time complexity of any algorithm okay so the mathematical function used to express or represent the time complexity of any algorithm is called as basic efficiency classes. So I will repeat the basic efficiency classes are nothing but the mathematical function used to express or represent the time complexity of an algorithm. So from now onwards whenever we do analysis of an algorithm to know the efficiency of any algorithm we have to use any one of these mathematical functions like n or log n or n into log n, n square, n cube, 2 to the power of n, n factorial or 1. So we have to use any one of these basic efficiency classes only to represent the what? Time complexity of n. Okay. So that the, now the uh, definition of basic efficiency class is the mathematical function used to express the time complexity of an algorithm is called basic efficiency class. Okay. So hope you people understood. Thank you.